Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve this nice functional equations? We are given f of x plus 4 equals x squared plus 7x plus 6. And we want to find f of x minus 4. So this is changes in uh, operation. Here is positive and here is negative. And let's see the output of this f of x minus 4. So let's solve this using two different methods. Let's consider the solution from here. Uh, we are given f of x plus 4. This equals, let's try and factorize this one completely. We have x squared and the middle term here is 7x, which is known as the sum of this. And uh, we have 6, which is the product. We look for two numbers as when we add it, it gives us 7. And when we multiply the same number, it gives us 6. And the two numbers here so happens to be 6 plus 1. Uh, by 6 plus 1, that is 7. And uh, 6 times 1 equals 6. Then we just have plus 6 at this stage. So therefore, we try to expand this. By expanding this, we have x squared plus 6 times x, 6x plus 1 times x, that is x plus 6 then we have this equals we have to group this into 2 as we have x squared plus 6x and also we have x plus 6 then we have what is common here is x we factor out x and in the brackets we have x plus 6 also plus there is one here at the coefficient of x plus 6 and also we have x plus 6 then we continue by combining x and 1 together so when we combine x and 1 we have x plus 1 and also we take one of x plus 6 here is a complete factorization of the quadratic above and everything here equals f of x plus 4. And we shouldn't forget that we are asked to find f of x minus 4. But here we have f of x plus 4 and everything we have here, they are not the same thing with this. So we have to make sure that this domain here, which is x plus 4, is resembling something here. And we have to make sure that x plus 1 is now looking at x minus 4 and the same thing as x plus 6 we deduce x plus 4 from it so that is form manipulations then we are going to have it as let's say i create a bracket like this and i got my x plus 4 so it means i'm going to subtract 3 from here because what i need here is what i have here is x plus 1 and here i've changed it to uh, 4 minus 3 so and we apply we get our x plus 4 here also with this one so we are going to have x plus 4 then i'm taking out uh i'm adding plus 2 from heat so this gives us x plus 6 so since we know our domain here that our domain of this uh function is x plus 4 then we have to change this domain x plus 4 we try and change it to to x therefore we have our f of x equals anywhere we have x plus 4 here we change it to x because we have already changed this one to x therefore we have x minus 3 then multiply by x plus x plus 2 and from the given questions we are asked to find x minus 4 Again, in this domain as well, which is x, we have to change it to x minus 4. Therefore, we have f of x minus 4 equals, now I'm changing this only x to x minus 4. Then we have minus 3 already. And also for this one, we have x minus 4 minus plus 2. Then therefore, we have f of x minus 4 equals so this becomes x minus 7 then multiply by x minus 2 
and when we try and uh, expand this we are going to get x squared because this is another quadratic minus 9x plus 14. here is the result of f of x minus 4 using the fixed method so let's see how we can solve this using another method and see what will be the output and the easiest one of the two so another method we can still apply to this here is considering this as method two to solve this same question we know we are giving f of x plus four f of x plus four that is what we are giving and we want to find f of x minus 4. So this is very simple to solve as we are going to still manipulate this. We know that what we need here is x minus 4 as everything here equals x squared plus 7x plus 6. That's what we have. And to have x minus 4 here, it means we are going to change every x here to x minus 8. Um, when we have x minus 8 here, so when we add it to plus 4, you know, we get x minus 4. So therefore, our 8 now, our x now become x minus 8. Then we have to change it here. And for every x squared, we are going to have it as x minus 8 squared. Whereby the expansion of this gives us x squared minus 16x plus 64 and also we have 7x so which change to 7 into bracket of x minus 8 and this gives us 7x minus 7 times 8 that is 56 and also we have 6 as a constant term here then by trying to input it in the function we have f of x minus 4 so it becomes x squared minus 16x plus 64 then plus our 7x now becomes 7x minus 56 then plus 6 by trying to solve this one up we have f of x minus 4 equals here is x squared and here we have minus 16x and here is plus 7. The result of this gives us minus 9x and also we have minus 56 plus 6 that gives us minus 50. Then we take minus 50 out of this 64. We are going to have plus 14. Uh, we get the same result as the first one and applying the second one here so which one is more effective uh, between the two let's hear the answer in the comment section see you in the next class and don't forget to subscribe to this channel bye bye